Do, but I am so excited. As you can tell from the title, I am going to be exploring crystal shops here in Minnesota that I have never been to before. If you've been watching my channel for a couple of years, you might remember that a few years ago I did a video on the best crystal shops here in Minneapolis where I took you around to some of my favorite crystal shops. To this day, those shops and those videos are still my favorite crystal shops for so many reasons, including price, variety, size, amount of product in the shop, rarity of stones. But since then, I have gotten so many requests to do more videos on crystal shops here and some of you even recommended the shops that I'm going to today. Some of these I've never even heard of but if anything it's really showing me that there are more metaphysical stores here than I realize. So it's gonna be a really feel good come crystal shopping video with me. If you are new to my channel I love doing crystal shopping videos. I'll leave the link to the playlist down below but I've done best crystal shops like I've mentioned here in Minneapolis, best crystal shops in Florida, best crystal shops in New York and it's basically just like a crystal shop hop vlog where we go to as many stores as we can so I have the list of all of the crystal stores in this video we will hopefully be going to seven new crystal stores that I didn't even know were around me which is crazy so I'm really excited to check these out before I share what crystal shops are on this list I want to mention my favorite ones so far in the area are definitely the ones in my original video of this topic so ZRS fossils in uptown is the best we love it there half of the crystals in my home are from that store present moment bookstores off of grand is phenomenal i love it that one is metaphysical herbs books crystals tarot cards all of it whereas zrs is primarily just rocks fossils and crystals and then awakenings more so on the hiawatha side of minneapolis also amazing they're kind of pricey but i do love their selection so those are some of my favorites oh how could i forget enchanted rock garden is also up there number one i grew up in Richfield really close to the original location of Enchanted Rock Garden. They have since moved and I've done a few crystal shopping vlogs where I've gone there. I love that place. I think their prices are amazing and they have really cool stones there as well. But for today's video we will be going to Divine Time in Apple Valley, Crystal Rock Healing Metaphysical Shop in Bloomington, Crystal Zones Rock Shop in Eden Prairie. I also want to stop at Earthbound Trading Post as well because they do have a lot of spiritual items there and crystals so I want to show you one of my favorite spiritual shops that a lot of things in my house are from and I get a lot of questions about where those items are from they're from Earthbound I have Magus Books and Herbs in North Minneapolis the future in Minneapolis and then Third Eye Salon in Uptown which used to be Eye of Juarez but the other weekend I was at Open Streets which is like a street fair in Uptown and I was talking to some girls that work there and I got the whole scoop on how it used to be Eye of Juarez but then they've like changed and are now third eye salon they had amazing deals at open streets and that's where i got a lot of cute crystals so i want to check out their new shop but for today we are just going to be hitting divine time crystal rock healing crystal zones and earthbound so we'll do four shops today cannot start though without a coffee shop so we're actually at curious curious curiouser it the r's are so hard but curiouser coffee and conservatory here in apple valley i've heard amazing things about this coffee shop i've seen it on TikTok, Instagram, friends have recommended it because it's also a huge plant store, I think, but a really fun coffee shop that everyone is raving about here. So my mom and brother are on their way and they are going to meet me for this coffee shop and the crystal store here in Apple Valley because my brother was actually the one who told me about it. We're doing this on the most perfect day too. It's like in the 60s, sunny, beautiful fall day, which is very rare toward the end of October, but I'm all ready to go. I'm actually using my new Teddy Blake purse that I got the other day. So this video is not sponsored by Teddy Blake, but they were really sweet and sent over a new purse for me. So this is the Ava Gold 11 inch bag. I love it because 
because it has this gold lock. I usually carry my nine inch Teddy Blake purse, but I was looking to expand to something slightly bigger just for the days when I do have like my vlog camera, wallet, phone, keys. The smaller bag doesn't always fit everything, but this 11 inch bag is perfect. If you're unfamiliar with Teddy Blake, they are a Italian luxury handbag company. Everything is handmade in Italy. It's luxury without the cost of luxury handbags. So you can get the quality and feeling of a luxury bag without spending too much. I'm going to link everything down below, but I highly recommend checking out Teddy Blake. I love them. They're like the only purse company that I use. This is my third Teddy Blake bag. And then I also have a wallet as well. And I always get questions and compliments on these bags. They're sturdy, they're big. I love how we have an outside zipper on this one and how this bag kind of like latches closed. But on the inside, there's also a ton of storage and an inside zipper. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure most books that I'm reading could fit in here as well, which would be so convenient to be able to go places and just have my book with me. I want to get more into book talk. I read a lot. I just started a bookstagram page. Follow my new book Instagram. I'll put it on the screen. I want to get more into book talk this upcoming year as well. So I'm going to try to make more book videos. Thank you so much, Teddy Blake, for sending over this new purse. I love it so much. It's going to be perfect for shopping today. Their selection on their website's amazing. They have purses in every size, color, style, all of it. And they usually have awesome sales running as well. So definitely check it out. I'll link it down below. They are the only purse company I would ever recommend. But I'm so excited for this video. My mom and brother should be here any second. I'm like looking around for her car. Also, if you're watching and have not subscribed, please subscribe. I love doing these types of videos and I will be doing more. Already, I've made a list of the crystal shops in St. Paul, Minnesota that I want to go to next. So we'll do another crystal shopping, hopping vlog soon. And I have a whole playlist on spiritual manifesting crystal videos down below as well. Definitely subscribe for more. I see my mom's car pulling up. Perfect timing. Let's head on inside. coffee shop was so cute. I didn't realize, but it's Alice in Wonderland themed, and Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite books of all time, so it was really cute, which makes sense by the name of the place, Curier Sir and Curier Sir. That is such a hard word for me to say, I'm learning. If you're in the Apple Valley area ever, I would highly recommend checking it out. It would be the perfect spot to like work at or read. So many plants, natural lighting, really cool space. Now we are off to Divine Time. It's pretty close. My mom and brother are going to meet me there. They I haven't been to this crystal shop yet either, so we are all very excited to check it out. It is four minutes away. Also, I forgot to mention, but the street that I turned on to get to this coffee shop was called Galaxy Drive, and it just felt so fitting for today's like spiritual adventure. My mom is totally watching me vlog right now. Okay, we gotta head out to Divine Time.
first shop was beyond a success. I actually spent way much more money than I was anticipating for this video. I thought I could go to all these stores and not buy like a single thing because I am a little bit on a tight budget for this video. I should not be spending money, but when I find good deals and items that speak to me, it's hard to pass it up, especially when it's for a video and I wanna share it with you. Divine Time in Apple Valley went hard and it was such an amazing store. I love the energy of it. It was so beautifully set up, displayed. Not a single person was in there, so it also felt like such a personal experience. I will say the one day that we go is the day that they're painting the outside of the building. So there was like a lot of paint tarp down. They covered all the windows with a protection sheet from the outdoor painting. The footage might look a little weird of the outside of the building because they are painting the outside of the building, but the employee was so nice, so chill. We talked to her for a while and I got so many cool things in there. I will do a huge haul at the end of this video, but what I really love about Divine Time is they have a punch card. I spent $79. Don't know how that happened, but I got eight punches on here, and then when it's all punched, I get $10 off. So I will definitely be back. I got so many cool incense, incense burners. I got a cauldron. I got some backflow incense. I'll show you a few things, but you'll see this at the end of the video. It's so heavy, but I got this little spell cauldron so you light it with an intention i love it and then once it's all burned i think i'm going to use this for storage i got a black obsidian tower i'll show you what's in the box at the end of the video during the haul but this was 13 dollars, and it's incense rope and an incense burner i got a beautiful gold incense buddha so many cool things it put me in such a great mood and like i said the employee working was so sweet i'm always a little bit hesitant to film in these crystal shops because i never want to disrespect respect the store or the employees. I've never had somebody tell me I can't film, but I'm also not in these places like this. I try to be really discreet and I usually use my phone to film because that seems to be a bit more like accepted and not seen as like, you know? Oh, there were so many like bells and different door hanging things I wanted to get, but I have so many of those too that I knew I didn't need them. Also, they have amethyst geodes. I've never seen an amethyst geode before, like in a shop. I've gotten a lot of geodes, as you know. Oh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, or maybe I'll do it in a different video. I want to do a tarot card collection and then a video on cracking open the geodes. Maybe I'll do that later this week. Yeah, they had amethyst geodes and I did really want to get one, but they were really small for $12.00. It, was, it felt a bit overpriced, especially when I've gotten huge geodes for $10, $25. Their normal geodes, just like the clear quartz ones, were $8, $7.50, and then the amethyst ones were $12. But they were a bit too expensive for me personally for the size. I'm going to try to manifest finding an amethyst geode, though, maybe for cheaper than here today, and we'll see what we find. Next up on the list is Crystal Rock Healing in Bloomington on Lindale Avenue. I know exactly where this is because it's actually really really close to where my apartment used to be. I'm excited to go back to an old neighborhood. It is 15 minutes away, Crystal Rock Healing, here we come. We have arrived. I just parked outside of Crystal Rock in Bloomington. It looks like the cutest little corner shop, so I'm really excited. As I was driving over though, I did remember that the other store, Divine Time, I wanted to talk more about the prices because they did have a few things that felt overpriced, but some of the items that I remembered feeling like they were a deal where the candles, they had those single use candles for 50 cents each. Some shops, I feel like I'm used to them being a dollar each, so that was a good deal. A lot of the small crystals were like a dollar each, so it really did just vary on the item. Anyway, let me show you Crystal Rock and we'll head on inside. I'm really excited to see what this store is like. There it is. <laughs>
in. I am so impressed by this crystal store. Oh my God. I realized that this store just opened in May, so it's pretty brand new, but the space is so much bigger than it looks like on the outside. From the outside, it looks like just a tiny little corner shop. So I was expecting one of those almost like hole in the wall crystal stores that are very like cluttered in a nice way, but the layout of this store felt super different than other crystal stores that I've been to in the sense that a lot of the items were pre-bagged on the walls or just displayed really like neatly and spaced out. They had a ton of essential oils, tea and herbs, tarot cards. They had a whole little book corner with a couch. It had the best peaceful energy and they were playing such a fun spooky Halloween playlist. Yeah, a lot of fun October songs playing. I also realized that they had an awesome sale that started today, which is so divine out of all the days for me to be filming this video. 31% off of the most expensive item of your purchase. So with that in mind, I had to get a couple of things. I got two items and my total was $21, which is such an amazing deal. Oh, the other thing too is they cleanse your items when you purchase them in a huge sound bowl so they give it a sound bath so that no other energy is on it she has you pick it out of the bowl so only your energy is attached to it and put it into your bag which I really appreciated and they have a Halloween party coming up she gave me a little invite it's on Saturday they have the 31% off sale going on on Saturday door prizes everyone gets to pick an item out of a trick-or-treat bowl candy treat bowl readers and healers it sounds really fun. If I had someone to go with, I would go. But I got a beautiful, huge piece of blue calcite. I think it was only $14. Everything here was priced really well. I don't think anything was too overpriced. And some items I feel like were a pretty good value. I also found, oh, I was going to ask her if she had a card for it. I forgot. I can look it up online. But I found tanzanite for $10. And I don't own any tanzanite. I was reading the description, though, of tanzanite. And I think I included it in a clip in this vlog but I also took a photo of it. Highly recommend if you have a ton of crystals and you don't want to forget what is what or what stone that you purchase represents or helps with whatever property. I always take a photo of the crystal where I got it from with the sign that tells you what properties it has and then I put it into one photo album on my phone so I can always go through in case I forget. I have the photo of it here but Tanzanite is from Tanzania, South Africa and it's referred to as the stone of magic which really caught my attention. It helps with spiritual awareness and psychic insight which I did have a psychic dream the other night and I haven't had one of those in a long time where it basically plays out the day that I would be like waking up from and whatever happens in my dream happens in real life. I know if you don't believe in this like you probably don't believe me but I wouldn't make this up. I do have a lot of psychic moments here and there and it's things that like I don't know is a vision in the moment. I know after it comes true and I did just have one of those bizarre dreams where it felt like reality and then certain things happened and then I woke up and was so disoriented and the very bizarre things that happened in the dream happened in real life. So I haven't had one of those in a while, so I felt really called to get this one for the Psychic Insight. A high vibration stone that aids in transformation helps one to slow down and relax. Great for workaholics. My partner Ashton and I are both workaholics, so I felt like this would be helpful for balance and all of that. It brings success to life, which honestly, I hope this video is a success. So if you're watching this, give it a thumbs up because I love these videos and sometimes they do really well, which could really help the budget of these videos, let me say. <laughs> physically relieves stress and depression and those diseases related to such. I will say seasonal depression hits me hard like a freaking brick, especially this time of year. So every single reason I was like, I need this in my life. And it was only $10. This was such an amazing store. Again, highly recommend Bloomington, Minnesota, Crystal Rock. You will not regret it. Oh, they also have a rewards program, which is always the best thing. I love the metaphysical stores that have rewards programs. So I earned my first reward today, which is amazing. Anyway, next up on the list, we are heading to the Eden Prairie Mall, and there are two stores inside the Eden Prairie Mall that I want to go to. The first one I have never been to, so hopefully I can find it okay. Crystal Zones Rock Shop in Eden Prairie Center, and then Earthbound Trading Post is over there as well, so I want to show you Earthbound because it is like one of my favorite stores for all things spiritual. So yeah, let's head on over to Eden Prairie Mall. <laughs> 
just arrived at Eden Prairie Center. I purposefully parked right outside of Barnes & Noble because I need to buy lessons in chemistry for my book club book this month and I have been trying to get it. Well, actually, I shouldn't get it here. I should get it at Target because it's so much cheaper at Target. I might just look because I do really want, I don't know, I was just at Barnes & Noble two days ago and I spent $70, so I really shouldn't, but I have no idea where well, I know where Earthbound is, but I have no idea where this other rock store is. So we are just gonna walk around until we find it. And I'll probably film on my phone, depending on how busy the mall is, we'll see. But yeah, there's Barnes and Noble. I don't know what's really weird. There was a family that parked two spots away from me. We arrived at the same time, walked in kind of together at the same time. I didn't see them in the mall at all, but we walked out together at the same time and are now leaving. So bizarre, such a simulation moment, but Earthbound, it got me good. I really wasn't going to get anything. I wanted their journals and everything so bad. All of their clothes were so cute. The journals looked so cute. They had so many good like October, fall, Halloween, earthy things. I found the softest and cutest little shirt for only $7. So when it's that cheap, I feel like might as well, right? A little off the shoulder yellow tee that says we'll be all right. So cute. I got a candle that was only $7. What else did I get? They had, wait a second. I really don't wanna have to go back in there, but I got this cup that was supposed to be on sale. Oh no, it's $6. So I got this cup primarily only because it was on sale. Like cute and since it was on sale for five bucks i was like why not but on my receipt it's 13 dollars because that's the original price <sighs> malls overstimulate me so quickly i was actually very jumpy and anxious toward the end of being in the mall that <sighs> No part of me wants to go back in there right now because I was very overwhelmed. That makes me kind of mad because I was only going to get that because it was $5, but she rang it up as being $13. So, I mean, that's $7. It's only $7, but it's also $7. 
Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this today. I think another day, maybe later this week, I will go back with the item and the receipt and we'll get the difference, but I'm at my limit today. I'm pretty exhausted. It's also getting really hot out, which I love because it's late October and it feels like it's in the 70s. Basically what I was getting at is their sales section got me so good and everything was such a good deal. If it was rung up correctly, I would get four items for like $29, which is a really good deal. Also, Earthbound Trading Post does have a website, so if you don't have one near where you live, I recommend looking at their website. That's where I usually find a lot of good deals. I did also check out Crystal Zones Rock Store, I believe is what it was called, and it was a really big space in the mall. Really cool shop. I'd say the prices were prices. They weren't too overly expensive, but nothing was screaming at me like, oh my god, this is such a good deal. But they had a lot of variety, a lot of good tables of things. Not really one of my favorites that I've seen so far but convenient because it's in the mall. I feel like Earthbound, I always find so many better things there. They have crystals, they have so much more as you saw in the footage, but I'm definitely at my limit today. I was extroverting a lot and I went to a, a lot of places for me today at least, like the coffee shop and four crystal stores. I'm ready to go home and introvert for a while, but we'll hit the three other stores later this week. I think I'm going to try to take my partner Ashton with me since he loves fossils and crystals as well. And we'll pick up this video then. Wow, do I look like I just woke up? I kinda did. It's a few days later now, Sunday morning. I'm at Ashton's tattoo shop. If you did not know, my boyfriend is a tattoo artist and he will be joining me for the rest of this video, which I'm really excited about. I look pale. The winter paleness has arrived. It's freezing today. It's like in the 30s, so I pulled out the winter jacket. I'm so sad about it. But today we are going to the final three crystal shops. I'm so excited. We will be starting at Magus Books and Herbs, I believe. Then there's a shop called The Future that I've never heard of either that I'm really excited to, to see. And after that, we'll go to Third Eye Salon here in Uptown. But we stopped at Ashton's Tattoo Studios so he could feed his fish. <laughs> I think I got a clip, but we also stopped at Third Space down the street for some coffee this morning. Funny story, I'm in there a lot, like at least once a week maybe. It's just very convenient when I'm in Uptown. So I'm in there a lot, I know who works there, and today I was pretty sure that I saw one of my really, really good friends growing up working there, but someone that like I haven't spoken to in like five or six years, just like a classic high school friend friendship dropout. And it made me really sad because I was trying to figure out if it was her, even though as soon as I saw her, I like instantly knew, but she wasn't looking at me. So I didn't know if she knew it was me or if I could like see her face. It made me so sad. I texted one of our other mutual friends and they confirmed that it was her who works there because they also have a friend who works there. And then when I went to pick up my coffee, I was like hoping to say hi because this person like, I grew up with her. Like we were really, really close and I was kind of happy and scared to see her. And then when I went to pick up my coffee, I noticed that she had put on a mask no one else was wearing a mask in there. She wasn't wearing a mask. It definitely felt like a mask and hat gonna hide myself situation and it just kind of broke my heart. I don't know. I would much rather say hi to someone who knows me from growing up than hiding because it's just like a very special bubble that nobody else will really understand except for the people that did grow up with me and they mean so, I don't know. I don't know. It just breaks my heart. This person is the one who taught me that every single like love story is a ghost story and she was a really good writing friend of mine and it just hurts to see that and know kind of what happened to us. I'll probably cut most of this rant out, but it did just like break my little heart a little bit that she was, um, I don't, and I don't think it was because it was me. I think she was just avoiding me because I was from her past. I get it. I would probably do the same thing, but whenever I run into somebody from the school that we went to growing up, I always make a point to smile and like try to say hi. Over the summer, I ran into a lot of people at this one restaurant in um, Excelsior, right on the lake, and I saw like three people from high school that night. I remember I like looked at one of them and smiled and she like immediately looked away. And again, it's, I don't think it's me. I think it's just like, people from high school, you know? But anyway, here comes Ashton. You ready? I'll warm up the car, she says. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't because I was filming and I can't, I forgot that when I vlog, I have to turn off the car. <laughs> it's 37 degrees. All right, Megas Books and Herbs, let's go. Got a treat.
out of Magnus Books and Herbs. It was really cute. Definitely mostly a bookstore. I don't want everyone outside this to be blocking right now. But they had a lot of cool, more like pagan occult things. They had wands, which was neat, and little swords, daggers. I liked how some of the tiles had like different symbols too, like the moon, Eye of Horus, and all of that. I think the crystals were a bit overpriced. They had like a huge piece of selenite for, shoot, I already forgot, but I knew it was more than the big selenite that I have, and all their little crystals were like a lot of money. So great bookstore, but I definitely think you could get a better deal for crystals, but super cute. Now we are off to a home improvement store and then the future. We just parked at the future. It looks really, really cute. I love the outside of the building. I loved that one. I got two little crystals I'll show you later and free matches, but the energy vibe aesthetic everything in that little shop was so cute I love the layout. They had the most beautiful candles a lot of small business like handcrafted artists were featured there All of their crystals. They had such a huge collection good prices like I could not pass it up I got a large piece of raw lapidolite, which is kind of I don't see it as often. It's really not rare It's such a common stone, but the raw form of it isn't really seen as often and then I got a chevron amethyst that's pretty large as well I really wanted to get this one plant magic book from the esoterica series that I saw there but it was still like 40 bucks which is the same price that it is on Amazon I loved the broom that they had hanging from the ceiling very like pastel aesthetic but cute and a lot of like handmade candles and like clay stuff. I wanted to buy everything in there. It was so, so cute. And I added my name to the mailing list. This one so far in this video might be my favorite and it's definitely being added to one of my favorite crystal shops here. Super cute. And I think I already mentioned it, but the prices, amazing. Now we are off to the final store in this video, Third Eye Psychic Salon. I believe the product side of the salon though is just called The Eye and it's an uptown. We will see you there. This is the retail Hawkner Metaphysical. Today is an exception. We've got Wix Craft over there on the other side oh. selling things, and they've got some awesome stuff. Some stuff you'll recognize from the store before. Oh, cool. Um, and so definitely check that out too.
Hopefully it's not too windy, but we just went to the Eye Psychic Salon as well as the retail side of their store. I will say the retail side, it's gone through three different rebrands. So it used to be Eye of Horrors, and then the Eye, which was actually in the first original crystal video that I did two years ago, but now it's rebranded again. I will say it was great, but definitely overpriced. They said that next door at Third Eye Psychic Salon, which is usually just readings, they also had some retail there today as well. We went next door to check it out, and oh my gosh, they had such amazing deals. I'm pretty sure it was the same booth from Open Streets a few weeks ago, but everything was on sale again, which was amazing. They had a ton of things marked down for like a dollar. I got so many cute things. I almost got a bell at the few Future, but the tiny bell was five dollars so I didn't and then as you can hear Third Eye Psychic Salon had a bigger bell for a dollar a dollar so it was such a better deal and so many other things on sale I got this huge jar for just a dollar as well I got this huge purple votive candle for more spell work and manifesting. This was only $3 and usually these are a lot more expensive. I got a huge amethyst that I'll show you at the end of this video when I do like the full haul. And then I also got 10 little spiritual stickers. They were 10 cents each, so I just got 10 for a dollar. They were so sweet, so nice. It was such a great time, oh my God. I think that was the best like price-wise deal so far in this video, but I don't know, because I usually don't have retail in there, but today they did. So I think I might've just gotten super lucky with that. I'm so excited that this bell like found me. I definitely would recommend Third Eye Psychic Salon and then check out the shop next door. Maybe you'll find some good deals, but honestly, I just found it to be a bit overpriced based on the other shops we went to, especially in Third Eye Psychic Salon because they had so many good deals. And then Ashton also got this really cute little quartz for $5. He has a lot of cool rocks in his place too. Look at all his plants, they're thriving. Also, I just remembered that price difference wise, the Future Shop, they had those really, really tiny little mushroom crystals that I love. They were selling them for $9. And then at Third Eye Salon, they had the same little ones that I got that I showed you in a vlog a few weeks ago for a dollar. So the price difference is insane. Just like how the bell was $5 at the Future and a dollar at Third Eye Salon, crazy. But it does help to know kind of the value or difference in prices so that you don't spend too much on something. But yeah, it was so overpriced there and it was only a dollar at Third Eye Psychic Salon. Okay, we're gonna go to my house now. It's a few days later now, I'm back home and I'm ready to do the full haul of everything that I got at the crystal stores this week. Here's everything that we got from Divine Time, Crystal Rock, Earthbound, The Future, and Third Eye Psychic Salon. I tried to keep it organized by stores. Starting over here from Divine Time, I got this beautiful gold incense burner. I believe this is a backflow incense burner, so the backflow incense starts up here and flows all the way down, but it also has a little spot for an incense stick here, so you can burn two incense on here. Beautiful, stunning, I'm thinking either the office maybe, wellness room, my bedroom. And then, like I mentioned, I got this cauldron candle, it's for like intentions and spells. What I really love though about this candle besides the flower petals and purple of it is this cauldron. I'm going to reuse it once I burn through this. It's really nice cast iron, like it is heavy. This little black obsidian was calling me this day as well. It's so smooth. This little obsidian was $14. This was $21 and then this incense was also $21. I also got some backflow incense for the incense burner. This cauldron right here is also also a backflow incense burner. So I needed some more backflow incense for that. The cats are loving the mess that I made <laughs> right now. They're playing in it. This incense was $4. And then I found Medicine Buddha incense. First, I thought this box was adorable and I want to reuse it to, to store spiritual things in. Even like a set of tarot cards would fit nicely. And then I was very intrigued because I've never used rope incense before, but this little bag is full of rope 
incense. This box and everything in it was only $13. Like I mentioned, I got a punch card, which is awesome. And the total that I spent at Divine Time was $78.95. I think I spent the most at this first store because next I went to Crystal Rock and Healing in Bloomington and I found this amazing huge slab of blue calcite. Stunning, beautiful, and it was $14, but this item I also got 31% off because of the sale going on. I love larger flat slabs like this. They just work well for shelving because then you can put the flat part like in front of books or in front of there. Like they just, oh my God, girls. They just work really well. And then, like I said earlier in this vlog, this tanzanite was really calling to me as well. This was only $10. I think it's beautiful and I don't have any tanzanite yet. I felt like I really needed this. With the discount, my blue calcite was only like $9 and the total that I spent at Crystal Rock and Healing was $21.14. Next, Earthbound. Now I did end up going back to Earthbound the following day and I got the cup situation figured out. It's all figured out, no big deal. But I got this candle, Abundance is a Mindset. I love the orange peach tone color of it. This candle was only $7.97. Like we've discussed, I got this little mug for $5.97. I love all the prints on it and the fact that it has a cork base that'll be great for my Nespresso machine in the morning. I also got the softest shirt. This was also on sale. I think it was like five or seven dollars. Yeah, $7.97. Originally it was $30 and I got it for seven bucks, but I think it's so cute and soft I'm sure you'll see me wearing this in future vlogs, but I think it's really cute And then this next thing is actually a gift. I want to try on the shirt So maybe I'll tell you the gift story while I try this shirt on my partner Ashton I don't think we've like announced this yet. He is actually expanding his tattoo shop So he owns a tattoo shop if you did not know in uptown I have a ton of vlogs of me getting tattoos there and kind of showing you his space. He's actually expanding spaces. So he will be moving and completely renovating this new space and turning it into this expansive tattoo shop with other artists and piercers and, and like the whole shebang. And this is definitely the early stages. Like he is tearing out walls, installing sinks and plumbing and electric sconces and light fixtures and he's ripping out this the floors and putting in other flooring so we are in the early early stages of making this shop a reality but in like six short months can i say this on the internet will he be mad no it's not like a secret either way very soon he will be running a brand new space and large tattoo shop and i'm so proud of him and i saw a gift there that i wanted to get him i think i have to give it to him before this video comes out just so i don't spoil it because he will probably watch this video but i saw something at earthbound that i thought would be the perfect little gift for his business and his new shop and all of that and it was a lucky cat it's one of these gold cats and it says that the lucky cat welcomes business success wealth and protection the lifted left paw welcomes business success right ushers in wealth and together they invite protection of the surrounding space so this is one of my mini little i'm so proud of you congratulation gifts to put in his tattoo shop. If you watched my crystal shopping video from a few years ago, I did the same thing with like a pyrite skull for his old shop. So yeah, this is a gift that I saw that I wanna get him. Okay, the shirt fits really well. It's so cute, I love it. Next from the future, I got two things. So I saw this beautiful raw lapidolite, I believe for $19. And like I said, you don't see raw lapidolite stone like this very often. I don't think I've really come across one this big before. And what I love about big stones like this is it works so well for decor. I think she's going to scare Marnie. There, there it goes. And then I also saw this beautiful polished chevron amethyst. This was $23 and I don't have any polished chevron amethyst. I do have a big chunk of raw chevron, but again, I thought this would work really well for a shelf because of of how it's been polished and just works as decor. I think it will be really cute. I think purple was calling me a lot. Amethyst and purple stones in general is what I'm originally always drawn to. If you're new to crystals, really, 
If you're new to crystals and don't know what to get or where to start, always start with what you feel most drawn to. I'm always drawn to amethyst. It's supposed to help with intuition, open your third eye. What I loved about the future also is they had free little matches. I'm a sucker for free things at the register. Stickers, matches, everything. These matches are great. It says burn the patriarchy down. I love matches at a spiritual shop because a lot of intentions, manifestations, spell work deals with lighting incense or burning bay leaves or sage or lighting a spell candle. So I can use these spiritual matches now for spiritual things. Last but not least from Third Eye Psychic Salon. Love them so much. This last shop definitely had the best deals. I think they might be my favorite in terms Terms of pricing. First, all of these stickers were 10 cents each, so I just got 10 for a dollar, and I will put these in my journal. I love stickers like this. This whole trip, I was seeing bells that I really wanted, but I didn't want to spend five to seven dollars on a bell because that's what Divine Time had the bells at. And I'm so glad that I waited because Third Eye Psychic Salon had this beautiful bell for only a dollar. They also had a lot of other items for a dollar, including this. These are really great for spells, intention, keeping herbs or anything else that you use spiritually. I go through a lot of jars with various types of spells or manifestation work, so it's really nice to get one for such a good deal. A dollar could not pass that up. And then this stone, oh my goodness. So originally, this huge piece of amethyst was $55.55. What I also love about this store is they always do angel numbers. It's never like $49.99. It would be 4444, Like I, I love it. But this was on sale. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen for how much that huge crystal was. But I remember it being such a good deal, like almost too good to be true where I couldn't pass it up. The last thing I got was this huge purple candle. This was only $3. The fact that that was three bucks and this one was on sale for eight dollars Sure, there's not like a cute saying on the outside But they'll both be used for intentions and manifesting and whatnot. So this was such a great deal Also, I forgot to mention but look at this YouTube the vlog tarot card that I found this one was totally meant for me It's like a tarot card, but the vlog with a YouTube label like how is this not a simulation? Like this is me on a tarot card. So this is the haul of everything that I got I had so much fun and I would recommend pretty much all of these stores. Third Eye Psychic Salon had the best prices, but they aren't a retail store normally. They just had like a pop-up table, so it was divine timing. The future in Minneapolis was the best. Their prices were not overpriced, but they also didn't have deals either. The best deals were Third Eye Psychic Salon for sure. Crystal Rock and Healing in Bloomington was so clean and large, and I think they had such a great variety and I loved their process of cleansing everything that you purchase and giving it all a sound bath and then you handling it like I was the only one to touch it and divine time in Apple Valley was just stunning the energy in there I think overall was aligning the most with my energy and earthbound is just fun like I love earthbound so much for everything I guess the one that I wouldn't necessarily recommend would be the crystal zones in the Eden Prairie mall it definitely felt like a mall crystal store and it didn't have the same energy as these other stores simply because I think it was in a mall. I want to do a crystal shopping video in St. Paul next, so there'll be a lot coming in the future. Oh, I also am about to film a tarot card collection, yoga room makeover, and geode breaking vlog, so if you want more spiritual content, definitely be on the lookout for that within the next couple of weeks. Subscribe so you don't miss it, and follow me on Instagram because I have been posting stories and pictures from this video, from these shopping trips on my Instagram, Instagram. I post a lot of spiritual stuff there as well. And then if you are looking for guidance, I also offer tarot card readings, oracle card readings. I do readings virtually. You will receive a like 45 minute video of your reading to reference. So if that is something that interests you, shoot me a message on Instagram. With all of that being said though, I will see you in my next video. Bye.